Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to my performance testing and engineering live training. Uh, so in this session, so I want to show you uh, load on a 2022 installation. Uh, of course, it's uh, simple and straightforward. And uh, here is the software required for performance testing, uh, particularly with load on a render emitter. So this is so this is the trial version. This is this is the version load on a version that I am going to install now. Load on a 2022 community edition. Community edition is nothing but a trial version. All right. And while insta installing that, so I'm going to take a screenshot and I will, I'm going to update my document as well. Uh, this is for my training purpose, guys. So before installing uh, load on a 2022, so let's first see the system requirements. What are the, what, what is the required configuration? What are the system requirement requirements for installing this load on a 2022? All right. So let me go to the right document. Yeah. So go to this uh, admhelp.microfocus.com where you see this support matrix system requirement link. So once you go in, so here you can see this is 2022 version. These are the system requirements for 2022 version. And if you scroll down, so you can see the hardware requirements and software requirements. So first thing is like, let's discuss first, uh, understand the hardware requirements. Your processor should be a two core CPU at least and it's recommended one is eight core CPU, right? The recommended one is eight core CPU. And how can you check whether, you know, how many core CPU does your machine have? Simply go to the task manager and go to performance tab and select CPU. So here it, you can see that, you know, it is a, mine is a six core CPU here, as you can see here. And logical process, number of logical processors are 12, right? So, however, the supported one is two core CPU and eight core CPU is recommended. So, we are good to go with this. And next memory coming to RAM, uh, which is important thing. Let me highlight the, let me use spotlight. Yeah. So, the next important thing that you need to check is RAM, right? So, 8 GB is the supported one and recommended is 16 GB for installing this load on the 2022 version, right? Now, I have 16 gigs of RAM on my machine. So, however, recommended is supported is even if you have 8 GB, that's fine. However, if you have 4 GB or 6 GB on your machine, so it's always recommended to upgrade your RAM. All right. So, and make sure that you have an available hard disk space of 50 GB in your C drive. All right. So if we, if your uh, C drive or if your computer has a SSD drive, make sure you have at least 100 GB. This is the recommended one. So 50 GB also will work out. All right. So these are the hardware requirements. Now coming back to the software requirements. So Loader 2022 requires Windows 8 and higher version, as you can see here. This is important thing guys to check. So you should have at least Windows 8 or any higher version, as you can see here. And uh, you can have, you know, you can install it on Windows 10 or Windows 11. And these are server class operating systems, which you will have in our organizations. So if you are working, if you are installing, right? <clears throat> Hold on. Yeah. So these are server class machines, uh, you know, like, uh, generally in organizations, you will have uh, Windows server installed on you, Windows server installed. And you will be working on those Windows Server remote machines, right? So if you are installing Load Runner on a server class machine, you require at least Server 2012 and higher version. So that's what this tells you. All right. And browser recommended is Google Chrome or Edge or Firefox. Anything is fine. And coming to screen resolution, 1366 by 768 or higher is supported. Recommended one is 1600 by 900 or higher. Now, how to check the screen resolution? Why, why do we need to check the screen resolution? Resolution is your load runner controller is not supported on display monitors with 4K or higher resolution. Please remember this. If you have a 4, 4K screen on your laptop or a desktop, or if your monitor is 4K, 4K resolution screen. So you this this doesn't support load runner doesn't support that 4K or higher resolution. So you whenever you need to use controller load runner controller 
you need to decrease the screen resolution also if you have in case you are you know your screen is having 4k or higher resolution right and how to check that so you can go to personalize uh, i think display settings go to display settings and there you know you can see that i have i had already set display resolution as 1920 by 1080 all right though 1600 by 900 or higher is recommended mine is a 4k screen actually so here you can see mine is a 4k screen 34 3840 by 2116 i had already reduced it to 1920 by 1080 so which is fine right so please make sure that you take care of this otherwise your controller will have issues your controller is not compatible and it will uh, uh, so when you install loader on a machine having 4k or higher resolution i'll show you what is the issue that you can expect let me quickly open my training ppt on the gen or controller maybe it's in controller one second just give me a moment guys uh, so the monitoring and daily monitoring use and it should be i remember that it is in controller yes so when you install load runner on a uh, monitor having 4k or higher resolution so you get this kind of issue transaction monitor not available this is with load runner controller component so you can simply decrease the screen resolution by going to this window right go to display settings and decrease the screen resolution to the recommended one right decrease the screen resolution if you are having 4k screen only you need to bother about this so decrease it to the recommended one what is the recommended one 1600 by 900 or higher is the recommended one all right now uh let's move on so and before installing any uh, load runner component right make sure that you do windows update and i have mentioned that in my load runner 2022 installation guide as you can see here please do windows updates on your laptop or desktop and restart machine if required before starting load runner installation also make sure that you have enough free disk enough disk space free disk space in your c drive if you don't have at least 50 GB in your C drive, install load runner in some other drive. Let's say D drive or E drive or F drive, if you have. All right. So if you don't have 50 GB and you have, if you don't have 50 GB free space in your C drive, and if you have only C drive on your machine, so you know what to do, right? So remove some movie files or uh, uh, movie files and, you know, videos that you may be having in the C drive to free up the disk space. All right. So having said that, let us let me go to the uh, installation file. So this is load runner 2022 community edition, which means file version as I already mentioned. Now I am starting the installation guys. Just double click on this. Load runner 2022 community edition. The file size will be approximately 1.6 GB. It will be of one and a half gigs or 1.6 GB, all right. So I'm taking a screenshot of this for the documentation purpose. Just give me a moment. I have a whole document screenshots. Click next over here. And now it, it is extracting the installer file. So it's up to you whether you can uh, go ahead with the default folder, default which is C drive, or else you can change the installation folder to E drive or D drive or some other drive. All right. Now, what does it say? The following prerequisites pro prerequisite programs must be installed before you can install Microfocus Loader. Now. Right. Click OK to begin install, and it is highlighting that installing network virtualization requires disabling the Windows Smart Scan. So if it requires any .NET framework components, uh, your, this installer file will invoke those. Uh, see, I already have 2021 previously, so I should be having those. So I'm good to go with here. So click OK to begin installing. The click Just click OK on that. It will take care of any other you know, uh, requirements, any other prerequisite programs. OK, let me, let me hold on. So let me just a screenshot of this. In the document. 
Now let me proceed with the installation. Uh, while it is going on, I want to mention that. Uh, so previously, like Loadrunner used to provide trial version, even with users were able to register with Gmail address also, Gmail ID or Yahoo mail ID, any public email IDs, and users were able to download the software. However, from 2020 onwards, Loadrunner is allowing only uh, official email IDs to register with the Microfocus website to download this trial version. Okay, that is something I want to uh, I want to highlight it here. So you require an official email address only. So it's not allowing to uh, uh, to download with register and download with uh, personal email, personal email address. All right. So, so here, you know, click next simply. Um, everything, you know, most of the screens are with default options only. So here load, it is asking the product you want to install, select. It is asking to select the product we want to install and click next to continue. So I'm selecting load and um, I'm proceeding with the default option. Okay, click next here. And accept the terms and uh, in the license agreement. Select this first checkbox. Do not, you know, select the last checkbox unless until you require a silk performer agent. And you can install that uh, in, uh, later on also. So for now, I am ignoring this and I am proceeding with this. Uh, I'm select, I have selected the first one, the first checkbox, which is accepting the terms in the license agreement. I am and I am proceeding with that. All right. This is previous version. I am deleting those screenshots and I am updating my document with. So usually I share this document to my students. That's why I am just updating it. Um, okay. So now let me proceed with the next steps. So once you select the terms and in the license agreement, click next. And uh, by, by default, it will show you C drive. Uh, by default, it will install in C drive. So make sure, let me check my the free disk space in my C drive. Okay, before that, let me take a screenshot and uh, update my document, please. All right. All right. Now let me go to my, let me check my free space in my C drive. So as you can see here, I have 11 GB of free, free space in my C drive. So I'll proceed with the C drive and proceed with installing in C drive only. Uh, yeah. Click next. So now click install, click install to begin the installation. Click install on that. All right. While it is installing, so let me upload my document with the screenshot. So if you have 4G RAM, please upgrade it. It's highly recommended that you upgrade your RAM to at least 8 GB. Or if you have more than 8 GB, that would be, if you have already have 8 GB or more than that, 12 or 16 GB, it will be faster. Installation will be faster as well as, so uh, we use N and you know, once we install Loadrunner, we get three components. All the three components will work faster with 8 GB of minimum RAM. So if someone is having less than 8 GB, it's always recommended to upgrade your RAM. It doesn't cost much, by the way. So if, uh, if you have 4 GB and if you add, if you want to add four more GB on your machine, it costs around 1000 to 1500 max, not more than that. Uh, and make sure that, you know, if you are upgrading RAM, make sure that you bill because uh, with RAM, you will have some three years or two years warranty. So make sure you uh, you ask the bill and keep it with you to claim uh, generally like uh, you will not have issues with RAM, but still, however, 
so if you want to in case like uh, if you run into some issues or if your ram ram gets corrupted or damaged so if you keep the bill with you it will help you to claim the warranty so please make sure that you ask for the ram bill if you are upgrading and uh, keep it safely with you so while it is while the installation is in progress uh, so let me make some uh, let me do some self marketing guys so so i am having 16 plus years of experience in it and 14 plus years of experience in performance testing and engineering i do have like uh, five plus years of training experience so while the installation is in progress so i i just want to give you a uh, introduction about myself and you know my training program so we are giving we are providing training and placement on performance testing with load on a geometer dynatrace uh, currently and blaze meter as well i'm i'm a certified associate in geometer splunk and dynatrace as you can see here i can show you my certifications as well and uh, yeah so these are the unique features of my training my training so we provide training on not just web tools and jpeg store kind of dummy applications or demo applications we provide training on enterprise java applications so that so you will be able to uh, once you get a job like or you will be able to crack interviews on your own and you will be able to survive without any job support once you get a job so these are the unique features of my training first thing is we provide training on enterprise java applications daily assessment there will be the first in, uh, 10 minutes in every session we will have a daily assessment on the previous day concepts and thereafter we will have theory or scripting se sessions for 15 50 to 60 minutes a day typically my session duration will be one and a half hour and this is the breakup of that one and a half hour the last 10 minutes will be dedicated for doubt clarification and q and a session so we made scripting simplified and easy to understand even for non computer skills and most of the scripts of different companies interviews are covered in the scripting let me quickly show you the scripting scenario sheet as well while the installation is in progress uh, installation is still in progress so meanwhile you know i just uh, let me explain my unique features of my training so these are the scripts that i am going to cover in the training as part of the training i will make everyone to do scripting on some demo applications as well as real time applications like amazon and udemy as you can see here these are the various scripts that I know that are given in compressed interviews, scripting tests, and this will also help you to. And I will introduce one concept, performance testing concept, one by one with each script. As you can see here, first I start with parameterization concept and then correlation concept. And then in the third script, you will have both correlation and parameterization. Fourth script, you will have error handling. So this is a properly structured training. As you can see here, these are the transactions are step-by-step -step navigation for each script that you need to follow and uh, you will get you know you will get trained on like around 15 to 20 scripts which most of the you know most of the other training institutes are trying to provide training on only only three to uh, one or two applications like web tools and jpeg store however we are giving training on seven to eight applications almost and one real uh, one or two real-time applications as well so i'll make you do script on a udemy application is real time application and amazon as well and these are the this is the udemy script that i am going to cover in the train that i cover in every batch in the train all right guys so, so in this and one more thing is like every student should work on the script and share it to me for review let me quickly show you that as well uh, for every batch for every batch we we do have a google classroom and every student should share the script to me for review. Let me show the Google Classroom of the current batch or previous batches. And uh, every student should share the script for review. And we will share the script and I will show you the review comments that we provide. All right. So just give me a moment. So this is Google Classroom wherein, you know, like I'll, I'll be giving assignments and uh, scripting assignments and tasks for uh, each of the student. So, okay, so this is from load runner thing, guys. Uh, so let me click on allow access. Okay. And uh, yeah, so this is the only step where you need to do some uh, modification or selection. All right. So once you get this micro focus authentication settings window, unselect the checkbox and click continue. That's it. 
are the rest of uh, rest of all the steps are clicking on next 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 and go ahead with the default options all right let me update my document you need to unselect this checkbox okay let me take a screenshot of that as well Click on finish. So once the installation is done, it will open user guide uh, as you see here in the whatever browser you have selected. Let me quickly update my document guys. Oh, and this is the last time. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now you can see that. So once load runner installation is completed, you will get three icons on your desktop. These are the three icons: virtual user generator, controller. Let me let me use spotlight. So virtual user generator is the first component. Controller is another component, and there will be another component that will be installed called analysis component. Let me show you that as well. Yeah, here it is. So here you can see that. Let me sort by date modified so that we can see all together, all these three together. Yeah. Now you can see here analysis controller and uh, region components and stuff. Uh, and uh, we have a uh, shortcuts on the desktop, right? And once the installation is done, it will, uh, installation is done. So we will see this readme file. So, which will help you to understand what is new in this version, support matrix, installation guide, right? No, what are the known issues, deprecated features and technologies, software support, and uh, link to software support. So, bookmark this page for future reference. Okay. LRP, it shows here as LRP README. LRP, where LRP stands for Load Runner Professional. All right. So bookmark that page so that, you know, if you have some issues, you can come back to this page and see if there are any known issues. So bookmark this page, load in a professional uh, 2022 version user guide. And so that if you have any issues, you can come back to this known issues and see, check if that is already a known issue or else, you know, you can resolve it by some means. All right. And this is, we use an installation guide. And uh, yeah, so a lot of information over here. All right. And let me, once installation is done, right? So it starts script with scripting. So let me start launch VUGen first. And this is the component, and this is called as splash screen. The, the small window is called as splash screen, where it shows you the component name and version, as you can see here version 2022 with this current version, all right? So let it come up. And the first time when you get this, right? So it will uh, ask for this uh, Windows Defender Firewall. Uh, uh, it will prompt to allow access if you want to allow access or not. So this is one time job. So click on that allow access. Thereafter, it will not ask you. And this is the GUI of load in 2022. Here you can see if you want to see the version anytime, you can go to help and check the version over here. All right, and let me launch uh, controller component as well, right? Controller and analysis component as well. If your installation is successful, you will get this new scenario window. Otherwise, if you're, if in case you are having 4K monitor, you will see this particular issue. Transaction monitor not available. Let me go to the slideshow mode, yeah. Hope it is clear now. You'll in case your monitor is 4K screen, you will get this issue. You can simply decrease the screen resolution to make the controller work. So I already I had already set my screen resolution, lowered my screen resolution, and that's why like I am able to see the launch the controller successfully. All right. So I'm closing the controller and let me quickly open the analysis component as well, just to make sure that installation is successful. Yeah, 
So we can see that load and all load runner analysis component also is launched successfully. This all right. So now let me you know uh, proceed with the uh, about my training methodology, which we you know we stopped in between. So most of the scripts of different companies, guys, please like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on turn on all notifications so that you will get free demo sessions and you know any new batch updates. So and. Uh, you'll get new batch updates only when you turn on all notifications. And uh, this is my contact number. If someone want to know about the training and join enroll for the training and placement. So please WhatsApp on this number, as you can see here, or else I'll go to, this is my YouTube channel, by the way, in future, if you want to access my YouTube channel anytime, or if you want to reach my YouTube channel, this is the way. So let me quickly show you. So go to, once you go to youtube.com, Search for performance testing real time training. And this is my YouTube channel, guys, with this logo. Like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, save my contact. Please save my contact so that in case you, you know, this is my WhatsApp number. Please save my contact so that uh, you can contact me if, in case you you require it any time in your future all right so let me quickly finish the session by explaining the unique features of my training so we are going to provide so scripting hands-on mandatory for every participant as i said before every participant should work on the script and share the script to me for review we will download your scripts and review your scripts Right. So here you can see this is my July 2022 batch, September 2022 batch, and I have November 2022 batch. So for each batch, I create some folder like this. Here you can see November 2022 batch. For each batch, I create a folder like this for with the student name, and we download and review the scripts and share the review comments. And share the review comments. Okay. So let me show you like you know, the review comments that we already shared for one of the previous batches. So that you'll get an idea, like you know, how uh, how this works. And in fact, like we are getting like 80 to 90 percent placement without any proxy and without any backdoor. So our my students are able to crack interviews on their own just because of this script reviews. This is one of the this is one of the reason why you know students are able to crack interviews on their own. Even they are going for face to face interview and cracking interviews on their own. On their own. If you observe here, we have provided reviews for Web Tools, JPEG, Show, Kona Card. By this time, they become good in their, very good in scripting. So this is how we provide reviews for each of the student. As you can see here, you can see the student name and what is the script that they shared and what are the review comments. Uh, as you can see here. And uh, those who got three and above will, you know, three and above will have, uh, those who got three rating will get, you know, I, uh, I'm using conditional formatting here. So those who have got three rating, uh, so their, you know, that particular cell will be highlighted in yellow color, four and five will be in green color. And this will help students to track their progress as well. So by, with each application, they will track their progress whether they are really making progress or, the, or there is a lot of scope for improvement. So this is how we share the review comments. Yes, as you can see here, this is random flight ticket booking strip. And these are the review comments that I gave for that particular student, as you can see here. All right. So now this is my Google Classroom. And these are my, so uh, here you can see, these are the different assignments that I gave for November 2020 batch, which is the latest one. So I ask everyone to learn Word basics and Excel basics by going through the training videos. Then this is the first script that I gave assignment uh, yesterday, right? And I also recommend everyone to learn Excel SQL basics by going to WP schools. This is how we do assignment. And uh, if you see view assignment, this is the latest one, right? So this is how we track the progress. And one more thing, we give weekly test every week we will have a um, test that which is mandatory and every participant, every student should take that weekly assessment. And once you attempt that test, I will get a mail like this. Let me quickly show that, you know, you will see the result as well as I will get a mail as below. Yeah. Here you can see 
uh, I'll get a mail like this so that you know I'll be able to track their progress and they will also uh, get a fair assessment of how they are performing every week. As you can see here, every assessment every week, weekly test consists of 15 questions to be answered in 15 minutes. All of, uh, right? So I'll provide more and more details you know, that, uh, once you contact. So we provide hands-on training on scripting with real-time examples and 15 plus scripts given in scripting that serves various companies interviews. And coming to the protocols, I cover web protocol, web services protocol, and I also cover API testing with Flowtoner and JMeter. Uh, and once the training is completed, you can attempt a JMeter certification, JMeter free certification. It's a absolutely free certification. You need not pay any single rupee for that. So you'll get JMeter Pro certification. And also you can attempt, you know, like uh, uh, IHTQB certification for performance testing as well. And of course, this is a paid one. You need to pay some amount for this, uh, some, uh, some around uh, seven or 8,000 for if you want to attempt for IHTQB, uh, which is optional. However, you know, I always recommend to clear JMeter certification from uh, free certification at least uh, for every student. And 75% of my students are already certified in JMeter at least. So I, I'm going to cover, as I explained before, I'm going to cover five sample applications and two real-time applications for scripting and testizations. And we are applying sprint-based model to the training so that uh, students will understand, you know, like how the how they how how do they get the work in the in the project, right? And uh, that also helps them to face the interviews confidently, particularly those who want to claim experience. And uh, yeah, so. Apart from these, we do provide placement assistance. As part of this placement assistance, this is the important thing, guys. So, so as part of placement assistance, we do payroll processing with PF account number. We provide resume, proper resume, where you can expect at least four to five calls per day and three to four real-time projects training in classroom. This would be on weekends, only on weekends. And five mock interviews after the training. And first, so this is to get an assessment of the student after the training is completed. It helps them to assess themselves and to not miss any real entry opportunities. First mock entry, I'll take myself, then I'll schedule two mock interviews with the help of my friends working in service based companies and two mock interviews by work guys working for product based companies. I do pay for them, I am paying for them, but that is free for you those who are taking placement assistance. And earn while you learn is something, some another unique feature in my training, uh, which I will explain you now, once you confirm your joining, I cannot disclose all the trade secrets in the public video. All right, guys, so oh, that's all for today. And if I'll please go through my Google reviews, last and final thing. So once you search, you know, once you Google search for performance testing, Real time training and do watch my re uh, reviews given by few of my students. These are my reviews. Guys. Uh, today, this third December, we have 60 reviews. Here you can see this is my ad, Google ad, and here you can see my reviews. Reviews given by few of my previous batch students. So please go through these reviews and I can share you the contact number of each and every student and uh, you know, I can show the WhatsApp conversation if you want. If you meet in person only, I cannot form, share it online. But if you want to check you know, the reviews, yes, I can provide like a, the, a complete WhatsApp conversation of each student from the moment they joined my training until they got a job. All right. So thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day. Uh, Finally, save my number, save, please save my contact number and uh, contact me, ping me on WhatsApp if someone wants to enroll for the training and placement assistance. Placement assistance is optional. You can opt for only training, online training as well as offline training. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on all notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. You can also check my reviews on justdale.com by the way. So search for performance testing, real-time training, as you can see here. These are the reviews given by a few of my students, guys. Okay.
there are total of right now there are total of 49 reviews the overall rating is 4.8 as you can see here so please go through these you know i can share the contact numbers as well few of my students i can share contact numbers of few of few of my students uh, signing off for today have a nice day by the way this is my contact number guys one more time let me quickly show this is a virtual number so what you see in just here this is my actual whatsapp number as you can see here 9059219399 and this is my youtube channel software performance system real time training thank you bye